From its humble beginnings, professional football was a game where a man had to overpower his opponent to survive. If he had any fear or doubts or lack of determination, he was in deep trouble. Football was never intended to be some game for the meek or submissive. It was a game for warriors, men who refused to quit. A player had to be fearless and to win. He had to impose his will over the guy on the other side of the ball. If he could break him, crush his spirit, take away any hope he may have had when the contest began, then and only then could he claim his victory. Back in 1892, William Heffelfinger was the best football player in the game. They called him Pudge, and he played on the offensive line. Pudge was big, and he was so good that he was paid $500 for leading his Allegheny football team to victory over the Pittsburgh Athletic Club. It was the first time that any player got paid, giving birth to the brutal sport of professional football. Back then, there were no rules, no protection, and surely not any money, at least for the ordinary player. But all players are not ordinary. And for a few, a very special few, they rise above the rest and they change the game. In 1956, one unlikely young man stepped on the field, leaving his mark on the game that stands even to this day. People would say he was too small, too slow, simply not good enough to play. But he never listened to those who doubted him, and he refused to quit. All he needed was a chance, and he got it. For 17 years, the skinny kid and son of a coal miner would play the game like no one ever before, breaking 11 NFL records and leading his team to the world championship in the greatest game ever played. This man with the golden arm started out as the ultimate underdog and ended up in the Hall of Fame. He blazed a trail for the great players of today. His number was 19, and his name was Johnny U. The U stands for Unitas, and he changed the game forever.